Hey guys, how is everyone doing out there? And it's 555 on my timer. Yay! Okay, it's exciting because the message this morning, message is from your guides. Talk about the 555 and what it means to you. Hmm, okay, I like that. Anyways, guys, welcome to the camp. Welcome every single solitaire one of you divine feminines out there, divine masculines, whoever you are. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for supporting the camp. Thank you for watching 30 seconds of those ads, guys. It helped to support you, girl. Thank you for hitting that like button. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you guys for being at the readings, most importantly, you know. So let's jump straight into your message. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thine will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Alright guys, let's see what's influencing your connection. Let's see what's going on for you here. What's influencing these connections, please, Father God? What's influencing these connections, please? Have the four of swords. I just got two things here about what's influencing your connection. It's um first one is that there is something here that has to do with healing, whether this is between you and your person or something that you have to do within yourself. But there's something that you have to do here in regards to healing. The other thing that I'm getting for some of you guys is just that it's the separation between you that's influencing your connection. And this is something of the past. This is something of the past. So it's like this is the situation that was influencing your connection in the past. Healing and a separation. That's the big influence on your past connection. Let's see about presently. What's the influence? What's the influence? Oh my God! Why can't I talk? Why can't I talk? Let's go again. All right, Father God, what is the influence presently on these connections, Father God? What is the present influences, please? There is no communication. So it's all about the separation today. The biggest influence on your connection right now is that there is no communication, no offer being present, no offer being made. It's like there's, there's a change that is not happening. Someone is not changing. Someone is not changing their ways. Someone is not doing things differently. Someone is still, it's, they're still doing I don't know how to put it, but it's like things that are influencing your connection. That's it. 717. You're still doing something here that is influencing your connection greatly. Someone is still being a bit sneaky. It's the divine masculine. You're still being a bit sneaky in regards to something. And I, I, I'm not talking about somebody running around, cheating on someone, being with someone. That's not the kind of sneaky I'm talking about. It's like they are still not speaking some kind of truth. They're still not communicating. They're still not, not making that offer that they need to. This is the reason why this person is still in that Five of Cups energy, even though it's in the reverse here. So what's influencing your connection right now is that this person here that you're inquiring about, they need to change. There is something that's holding your person back. There is something that's having this hold on your person. It's a sign of regret. There's something they're regretting. And it's like not until they change, not until they start to do things differently, not until they start to communicate with themselves, truth to themselves, truth 
to everybody around them, will they be able to make a stable and solid offer? So they're still mature. They're still not at the place that they need to be. Let's see what the unseen influence is for these masculines and feminines. What are the unseen influences, please, Father God? These influences that we do not know, that we are not seeing, that we have no idea about. What are these situations, please? Oh boy, you have the empress in the reverse and the lovers in the reverse. So for some of you guys here, these influences on your connection that you don't know about is a connection that is a relationship here that's broken. Someone is unhappy. Someone was insecure. Someone was dealing with someone that they they were being manipulated by someone that was forcing them someone that this person had us uh, oh my god i'm going all over the place and i'm confused it's like this person really did have your person confused this person was not a match for your person at all this person was um pretending to love pretending to care this could be a mother figure, any kind of mother figure, a sister who is a mother, a mother, a friend who is a mother, a baby mommy. But whoever this is, this person that embodies the energy of a controlling parent. Your person needs to realize that they need to protect themselves. This person needs to work on their insecurity. This person needs to become stronger within themselves. This person needs to walk away from these situations. And it seems like they're already figured it out and they are walking away because with this queen with this empress in the reverse and the lovers in the reverse, that situation there is no love. No love. Not an ounce of love left back in that situation. Not an ounce of love is left there. And these are the things you don't know about. So for most of you, your person is in a third party situation here. Queen of Pentacles. Whoever this is, your person was providing for this person. Your person was like the main provider for this person, for their whole situation. And again, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's a romantic partner. It's somebody around them who has this feminine energy that is very scrupulous, very naughty, <laughs> not nice. And your divine masculine is trying to regain their sense of peace, their sense of stability, the self-love to move away from these situations. All right, let's see what the hidden potential is or the hidden outcome based on What's going on down here based on the unseen influences? What are the things that are hidden from us here that our connection can come to based on these hidden influences? Yep. Woohoo! You see that? that? That's not nice. So this is what can happen to our relationship if these situations are not worked on here. So if your divine masculines do not work on these situations, if your divine masculine does not find their um, inner strength, if do not, they do not work on their insecurities, if they do not clear these people from their lives, this is what will happen to your connection. 
two threes. Look at that. This third party situation could continue. Your divine masculine could continue being with these third party people. And there will still be hurt and pain within your connection, both for you and your divine masculines. So they have to work on releasing these people. So these are the things that your divine masculines are facing that we don't know about. This connection could break. This person, <laughs> it could break. This situation will not last. It will not last. Let's see the, um, that was the two of wands and the six of swords. Let's see the outcome of this connection between these masculines and feminines, please, Father God. What is the outcome here? high priestess so someone is gonna someone is gonna gain that spiritual understanding someone is gonna be doing research whether this is you or your divine masculine but this research that you're gonna do is gonna help them to be fulfilled it's gonna help them to find their fulfillment their happiness their joy yeah and then they'll take action then they'll move away from the situation. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be depending on somebody's spiritual gain. What can I achieve from going within? So someone is going to be looking deep within here. Mostly it's the masculine. It's the masculine that's involved in this situation. So they're going to be going within to find the answers that they're seeking. To break themselves free from these situations. To regain that strength because this is what they don't want. They do not want to keep this situation as a third party situation. They only want one person. It's you. They already know that they are not happy here. They already know that this person is manipulative and destructive. And they already know. That their heart is broken and that they can continue to break yours. If they do not free themselves. So they're going to go within, connecting with God, trying to figure out how to get this done. And then everything will be revealed. Give me one more, please, on this outcome. The star, there you go. There you go. Two major arcanas. So they are going to be thinking. They are going to be going within. They're going to get to that point where they cannot take this situation anymore. You're looking for their queen of pentacles, the person who has everything. The person who, who embodies the empress. All the queens. The person that has their self in order. The person who is not noisy and disrespectful, abusive. The person who is balanced, loving, caring. They can give love. They can receive love. They can control the home. They can control work. So this person doesn't sit their ass at home and say, masculine, go work. You know, I'll stay here. They help out. This person is balanced. And this person is on the way to becoming that empress. This person is spiritually connected this is a spiritually connected couple here and this person is going to figure it out they have hope with this star they have hope see more thinking more making decisions so yeah they will get out of the situation but these are things that they have to clear Guys, I have this reading on my website, so if you want to get one done like this for yourself, you can purchase it. It's a seven-day delivery reading as well. 
it's on my website. So anyways, guys, this has been your message. Take care of yourself. Purchase a book or a reading at twindyflamedy.square.site for your protection bracelets, your money magnet bracelets, your keychains, your bath bombs, your incense. Go to Twindy Holistic Boutique dot square dot site and don't forget guys to support your girl over at tiktok at twindy222 so help me get to that thousand subs um, i mean followers <laughs> to that thousand followers so i can do lives and my giveaways and stuff over there thank you all for those who have already followed yay and guys i follow every single person back i follow everyone back so thank you again for your support, guys. And if you would like to purchase this reading again, it's What's Influencing Your Connection. Find it on my website, twindyflamedy.square.site. Later, guys. Love you all.